What's up, what's up? This is Marvin Hunter Speaks. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends. Today, we're going to talk about the American way of life and how fragile it truly is. Yesterday, January the 6th, 2021, there was an attempted coup of the American government. Let's not play games here. It was a coup, an attempted coup. Now, it was instigated by a mindless jack wagon and executed by other mindless jack wagons, but it was an attempt nonetheless. Now, it was like the it was it was like a perfect storm of dumbasses. It really was. Even the Capitol Police were in on the dumbness. I mean, their response was horrific. If you storm a US embassy, you will be shot. If you try to board a US Navy vessel, you will be shot. If you try to scale the fence of a military installation in America, you will be shot. As well you should. And yet they dropped the ball. And if you think the rest of the world is not looking on in horror or glee, you are sadly mistaken. Some are confused. Some are actually scared because America is their police. They depend on us to project strength that keeps them safe. And then others, dictators like Russia, China, they're looking at us laughing. The Teflon shiny house on the hill that Reagan spoke about is a lie. America is very fragile. Our way of life could be taken like that. Yesterday proved it. If they were a little bit more organized and a little bit more focused, a lot of damage could have been done yesterday. Trump has been empowered over four years to usurp common decency and wipe his ass with it. And what's crazy is everyone knew who he was when he got elected. Lindsey Graham knew. He spoke about it. Marco Rubio spoke about it. Ted Cruz spoke about it. And then for some reason, they rallied around the crazy. How'd you think it was going to end up? Trump admires dictators. He desperately wants to be an authoritarian. However, he's not intelligent enough or savvy enough to pull it off. He's like a bull in a china shop. He's a bully. That's how he's lived his entire life. However, here's the scary part. Right now, somewhere, the next Trump is watching and he's salivating at the mouth. He sees how easy it is to get sheep to follow him if he plays on their fears. Now, what if this next, next Trump is very calculated, manipulative? He's an evil genius. And he understands that all a coup needs is the military. And he knows how to work it and gets them on his side. You do understand that once that happens, the entire American way of life is done. We're over. That's how fragile the American way of life is. Now, to send a clear message that this will not be tolerated, harsh penalties have to be put down from the bottom up, from the jack wagons that were out there sitting at Nancy Pelosi's desk all the way up to the president of the United States. Nobody can be spared. It should be scorched earth because a clear message has to be sent. That will not be allowed again. Now, do we have the balls to do it as a country? I don't know. I doubt it but we better do something. You have to make that detrimental. You have to make clowns second guess before they try that again. That cannot be allowed. A lot of undesired behaviors in Americans have been nurtured over the last four years. 
They never went anywhere. They were always there, but they were in the shadow because it was detrimental to be that way. It was detrimental to be overtly racist, right? It was det detrimental to your your prosperity, your job. It was detrimental to your bank account. It was detrimental to your freedom. It was detrimental to your health. Could be detrimental to your life. Depends on the situation. But it was always there. But over the last four years, somehow it's been empowered and it's been pushed to the top and people wear it on their sleeves. Some type of way we have to beat that crap back. That has to be beat back into the shadow, shoved back into the hole from which it came. Now, we all, we're, we're, not, we're not naive. You'll never get rid of racism. But it cannot be overt. It can't. Now, I'm not smart enough to know how you fix this. But I am a military veteran. And I say take a hammer to it. With extreme prejudice. I don't know, man. January 6, 2021 was a very, very weird day. And it was my birthday. I turned 50. I'll never forget this 50th birthday. But again, this has been your boy, Marvin Hunter Speaks. Thank you for listening. Comment. Please subscribe. Share with your buddies. Till next time, be safe. Peace.